All right, so after a day or so of working things out, um, I remembered that to induce a voltage, a current, I should say, in a conductor, the electromagnetic field needs to be time varying. Um, yeah, so I'm a little rusty on my physics. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I uh, finally remembered. And, um, and so uh, in order to get a nice low power circuit to uh, induce um, a current in my in my Arduino EMF, let's see if this, yeah, so I have my Arduino EMF on its uh, medium sensitive setting right now and its little antennae um, for sensing electromagnetic fields and what I want to do is make make my own EMF source that's low power and portable uh, and repeatable um, so what I did is took a 555, um, the good old versatile 555, and um, I attached two 50k resistors. Well, actually, there's four 25k, two each in each in two in series, um, and uh, in order to create two 50k. Uh, equivalent equivalent resistors into my 555, and then what else? Let's see. Um, here, let's see if this. I'll try and post this. Yeah, I was gonna. Anyway, um, yeah, just for documentation purposes. Um, I'm sure that was totally out of focus. But anyway, uh, I'll post this. Um, the capacitor is 100 nanofarad, um, and with that, I was expecting, you know, between one and 200 hertz out of this 555. Um, I believe it's pretty much a well, what came out was a square wave, and of, of course it's not looking very pretty right now. On my oscilloscope, it was just a moment ago. Uh, let me fix that.